all my friends and like the student body being there watching me get crowned, it felt really good. Well, that moment almost did not happen. Bridge City High School senior Addison Minner's life changed in November when a car crash left her with serious brain injuries. Now, she and her family were coming home from Houston where she'd been cheerleading when that happened. Now, her recovery has proven to be nothing short of miraculous. 12 News reporter Cameron Seibert sat down with Addison and her family today. Cam, what'd they tell you? Yeah, Addison says as a cheerleader, she's always rooting for her team, even when things aren't going well. But after the crash, she had to trade in the sidelines for the hospital hallways where she was cheering on other patients as they pushed through their own struggles. Life can change in a matter of seconds, and when it does, it changes your perspective. They could have died, and I would have said, like, I hate you or whatever, and knowing that's the last thing you would ever say to them, and then something bad happened to them, and you'd never get to say, I love you again. Life granted Addison Minter a second chance, and she's making the most of it. Persevered and never once complained, always showed up with a smile on her face, gave 110%. And that was just a testament to who she is as a person. Instead of years or months, Addison finished inpatient rehab in just over two weeks. I just wanted to be home for Christmas. I said that every day. I was like, I better be home for Christmas. And just like she would cheer on her team at school, Addison was now cheering on patients at the hospital. I would like go up to random people and give them hugs. And then my Therapist had to be like, okay, Addison, you need to start asking <laughs> if you can hug them. And outside the hospital walls, she had an entire community encouraging her. Does that make it easier? It's Does a little bit more heartfelt, you know, just to know that people were still, we were on people's minds going through all this. That yeah. way we weren't alone. And of course, her number one fan too. Like I tell everybody, she's my hero. Because Aww, she. Aw, come here. <laughs> <laughs> because. She's always positive. Her personality has stayed the same. And I, I mean, she is, she's, I mean, she's my hero because there are a lot of people that would feel sorry for themselves and she hasn't. She's back at school now, back with family and back with friends. Absolutely amazing that she's gonna go on to graduate um, this year and, and is, go to college. And go to college. <laughs> I think there's no doubt in any of our minds how far she would come and how she'd recover, but how fast and how quickly she got there was impressive. Addison will move forward as she always has, this time with new perspective. Just don't take life for granted. So Addison will continue recovering with outpatient therapy, and she's hoping to make a return to the cheer mat someday. But even if not, she's already been back at practice in a coaching role. Cameron Seibert, 12 News.